Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Good morning, dogs, and happy Friday, Junior. Only five more wake-ups left this school year. Today, we'll hear about a varsity sports team conference victory, a chance to win free pizza for a year, an opportunity to go to Switzerland and Germany, and a special video about our laptops. But for now, it's time for weather with the Ivan. Thank you, Haley. Uh, today's going to be a high of 81 and a low of 57. It's currently 58 degrees. At lunch, it's going to be 76, and at 3, it's going to be 79. Tonight, it's going to be a low of 58, and tomorrow is going to be a high of 68, 67, I mean. Now, back to the studio. Thanks, Ivan. All NHS members, current sophomores through current seniors, will meet in room 137 during community today. Everyone, make sure to check out the last Hooligans Improv show this Saturday at 7 p.m. The show will include alumni members from the troupe, so don't miss out on the fun. Tickets are $5 at the door. The 2017-2018 yearbooks have arrived. If you ordered one, please stop by the bookstore to pick it up. If you would like to buy one, just bring $45 in cash or check to the bookstore. Extra signature copy pages are available for $2. As added incentive, if you have purchased a yearbook or buy one by the end of the day Friday, you will be entered into a raffle for free Marcos Pizza for a year. Incoming sophomores, juniors, and seniors, are you interested in being a student ambassador? And what exactly is a student ambassador? They assist new students and incoming freshmen in the transition to FHS, act as a mentor for students, promote school spirit and positive culture, and assist in school activities and programs such as freshman kickoff day. Please see Mrs. Debris in the front office for an application. Attention students, there will be a meeting tonight in Mrs. Woodard's room 139 for the upcoming trip to Germany and Switzerland in June 2020. Next school year, Student Council will be starting a new recycling initiative by collecting plastic caps and lids to make a bench that will be displayed at the school. Acceptable caps include drink bottle caps, medicine bottle caps, milk jug caps, detergent caps, hairspray caps, and deodorant caps. If you have caps or any questions, please see Mrs. Hale. It's now time for sports with Nick. Thanks. Any girls interested in playing volleyball in the fall should meet for a quick meeting at 8.20 in room 115 on Monday. There will also be a football call-out meeting tomorrow in room 304 and that will also be at 8.20 in the morning. The JV baseball team won on a thriller last night beating Tipton by a score of 18 to 17. The team produced a whopping 22 hits on the night. With the win, the JV season has sadly come to an end, but they did finish with a record of 7 wins and 11 losses. The varsity girls softball team filled the Hamilton Heights last night by a score of 10 to 2. Katie Roberts and Avery Drew each had two hits. They'll be back in action Thursday evening at Lafayette Central Catholic for their final regular season game. The varsity baseball team beat Tri-West in walk-off fashion last night by a score of 2 to 1. Jade Ayers drove in the tying run in the bottom of the 7th as you can see here and Jose Valdez Sandoval won the game with a sacrifice fly. The win clinches at least to share the Sagamore Conference title for the team. Christian Lopez pitched well, striking out 12 in 6 innings, and he added 2 hits on the offensive side. This is the walk-off hit here by Jose Sandoval, and the guy on third tags up, and he scores the game-winning run. Like I said, what a great win for the dogs, and I cannot wait to see you guys in sectionals. Hopefully you guys go on and do great things. Also, an exciting news, Nayeli Alanis got into regionals in the 100 meter and the 300 meter hurdles, and Kenny Garcia also got into regionals for discus. I hope you guys do just as great as the dogs have been for the baseball team. That's it for sports, now to a video about our laptops.
Thanks, Nick, and thanks to our awesome tech team for the video. Students need to stop in during fifth period beginning today to pick up any medication that has been brought in through the school year. Any medication not picked up will be destroyed by May 24th. If you find any library books <laughs> in your locker today, please be sure to return them to the library as soon as possible. That's all for today's daily announcements. Thanks for watching and have an amazing Thursday. Stop never thrall that's happening. This has been a Dallas birthday is next Wednesday production. <laughs>